uh, doing all the peaks is quite time consuming and that's why we wanted to have all spring, all summer to accomplish the project. Now, as it turned out, the, we had the worst spring on at least 20 years with um, really, really bad weather, uh, stopping us from going up and uh, doing things in the mountain. Meaning that um, uh, we decided to um, split the uh, project into two parts and first uh, do as many peaks as possible this year and then continue next year to do more peaks. The Matterhorn is uh, one of the most iconic peaks in the Alps. And that's where Hans Peter and I went the uh, day after storm. Uh, it was still cold, which uh, led to a very clear day. So when we got to the hut, we decided to just go for it. Leave all the people at the hut behind us and uh, avoid a traffic jam in the morning, but just keep on climbing. And um, we had a really good time out, nearly by ourselves at one of the most popular uh, places in the Alps. And, that was really cool. After the Matron, we went to um, Dante Chant, me and a friend called Einstein. It's a really a tower. We went out and camped uh, on the glacier. What a day for uh, attempting the Dent de Chant. That's actually one of the coolest uh, rock spires in the whole area. Yeah, it felt uh, like pretty much as soon as we started walking, we saw a huge rockfall come towards us, which we had to run away from. And uh, sort of <laughs> definitely stayed in my mind for the rest of the day as we were climbing scree for a couple hours and constantly with rocks sliding and falling around us. Sitting on a ledge uh, about 200 meters below uh, Dante Chant, just ready to go um, start on uh, perhaps the most spectacular climbing in the Alps. The climbing itself was uh, really enjoyable, uh, rock uh, quite solid and um, on the left side we could look down 1500 meters to uh, the Valle Blanche and then on the other side uh, to Courmayeur about two and a half thousand meters so we're really in a high place and the tower always gets more and more narrow. The Dante Chant was uh, one of the wildest places I've been to and really a cool place. So um, I think it's places like that that inspire us to uh, keep on climbing and the weather hasn't really <laughs> been so good this summer so we have fallen behind schedule and seeing places like that inspires me to uh, keep on climbing and uh, hopefully I can come back next summer and uh, climb more 4000ers and hopefully all of them. Mm -hmm.